We're going to start coloring our black and white photo by creating a new empty layer and changing that layer's transfer mode to color. Once we've done that, we're going to go and select uh, one of the uh, paint tools. We're going to use the brush tool. Uh, you could use uh, the marquee selection tools, uh, even the path tool if you'd like to, uh, to do this, but we're going to use the brush tool just to make this a little more uh, simplistic here for our, our demonstration purposes. Uh, I'm going to choose a smaller brush size because we're actually going to be painting on top of this photo. Uh, maybe the 9 is good. And we'll just zoom in a little bit here on the picture. Our goal here is to select part of the picture uh, that we'd like to colorize. Ideally, we want to colorize the entire photo, but we're going to go one color at a time. So I'm going to find what color uh, I'd like to paint the young boy's jacket. Uh, maybe a maroon color would be good, and we'll be able to go back and change all these and fine-tune these, so I'm just randomly going to pick a, just a color that looks closest to a dark reddish maroon color. And we're just going to go ahead and start painting uh, on all the areas that would be that color. And you'll see what starts to happen here when we start painting. Uh, the color comes through. It almost looks kind of like a hot pink uh, right now, but we're going to go back and change that. And basically, you're just going to follow uh, the areas that are the same color. So we would we would be painting uh, basically this entire jacket and anything else within the photo that we wanted to be uh, the same color. Uh, and we'll just do that, and then we'll uh, be able to go back in just a second here and change the transfer mode uh, to get this really looking uh, like we're wanting here. So we'll stop there just to give this uh, an, an example here. We Ideally, of course, we would go ahead and do the entire jacket, but we'll stop here so you can take a look at what's going on, kind of zoom it back out here. Now that we've got it on the color transfer mode, you can see that the color is actually kind of overlaying on top of the black and white image because you can see the shadows and the highlights still coming through. We want to change the opacity and bring the color down just a little bit, uh, probably around the 70% or, or less range. And what that's going to do is really make it look like the color uh, is within that photo. Of course, if we turn on the preserve transparency and lock the uh, transparent pixels on the layer, we can then go and change the color to, to anything we want to. For example, if we wanted to give him maybe a blue suit, uh, we could choose the, the blue color and fill the layer with the blue color and you can see that gives the jacket a blue look and of course changing the opacity again will give that uh, more or less the blue color you're looking for. So once you've got that principle down you can go and do that for all the different colors in the photo which we've done here in this group which I'll go ahead and unhide here and you can take a look and see what it looks like when it's all said and done and how each layer represents its own color uh, for example the TV screen color kind of a bluish color there uh, the actual TV stand kind of that uh, dark brown color. Uh, you get the idea. Every layer is its own color and you have full control uh, over the amount of color, what color it is, and the ability to change and tweak uh, each one of those items within the photo to really get the look that you're looking for.